The ancient city portal is now open, leading you to the mysterious other side dimension filled with three new biomes, six new mobs, and if you're lucky enough, you may stumble across an ancient temple. Today we're covering the deeper, darker mod, adding everything Minecraft should have to the Caves and Cliffs update. It all starts with you locating an ancient city to fight the Warden, which now drops a Heart of the Deep along with a chance to drop a Warden Carpus, also found in the new vases scattered across the ancient city. Be aware that breaking vases both in the overworld and the other side has a small chance to spawn the Stalker, which is a new boss that drops a Soul Crystal and also spawns these little annoying Skulk Leeches. The Heart of the Deep dropped by the Warden is used to open the portal, but make sure there's no vines in the center portal frame or it will not activate. The other side is too dark to see, so before you head through the portal, you'll want to have a Warden Helmet, which allows you to see in the other side. In order to get a Warden Helmet, you'll need four Phantom Membranes, four Echo Shards, and a Warden Carpus to craft into a Reinforced Echo Shard. Combine the Reinforced Echo Shard with a Netherite Helmet in a Smithing Table to get the Warden Helmet. There is a full Warden Armor set giving a movement speed boost, as well as Warden tools and weapons. Now that you have the Warden Helmet, you can make your way into the other side where you will be met with one of three biomes. The Deeplands spawns fossils across the surface along with Skulk Gleam on the roof acting as a light source. You will also be able to find Skulk Stone which can be used to craft brick, tile, and chiseled variants. And you will find three new mobs including the Skulk Centipede which can drop Skulk Bones, Snappers which can be tamed with enchanted netherite chest plates to give you enchanted books from time to time. And if you step on an infested skulk, a shriek worm will pop out of the ground. Although they have the health of a mini boss, they do not have any drops. In the echoing forest, you will be met with more skulk stone along with echo soil and echoing trees glowing with skulk gleam. You can cut these trees down for logs, but they don't drop saplings, making it a non-renewable resource. And the only mob lurking here is the shattered having a small chance to drop soul dust. The overcast columns is pretty bare, made of only gloom skulk, gloom slate, and crystallized amber with the occasional geyser launching you into the air. Like skulk stone, gloom slate can be used to craft into a variety of building blocks. In the other side, you can also stumble across an ancient temple located inside the Deeplands biome, where you can find tons of chests and vases to loot, and if you break the blocks in the center of the room, it will lead you to a secret flooded room below filled with more chests and vases. This is the only place you can find the Skulk Transmitter, which acts as a backpack if you link it to any chest or barrel. Now that you've completed the other side, you can craft the new Solitra with a Vanilla Elytra, four Skulk Bones, three Soul Dust, and a Soul Crystal. The Solitra has a chance to give you a boost so often you don't even need fireworks anymore, making it the new ultimate endgame item. We have now covered the entire deeper darker mod, adding what should have been added to the 1.19 Caves and Cliffs update. The download link to the mod will be in the description. If you enjoyed this video, consider hitting that like button and subscribing to stay up to date with all my current uploads. And with that, I will see you all next time.